Hello everybody, this is Exploring with Edna, episode 9. Got a bunch of goodies here we're going to install today. We get all the lights to do a full LED conversion, as you can see here. It's everything to convert every last light on the rig. Got the CB stuff here, got a cable. I uh, got the end for that, uh, power for the CB, and the bracket for the hood here. Uh, external speaker here for the inside of the cab, excuse me, so that the output is a little bit better. Just a fun little knickknacks here, of course. Uh, license plate holder, I'd rather be off-roading. That's always the way most of us are. Some fun accessories for the cigarette lighter instead of having a plain old thing here. Eject in fire missile. <laughs> uh, of course, we can't forget the CB whip antenna here. Uh, it's a 102 inch steel whip. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the better ones you could use for broadcasting on. It's uh, very versatile, but it's also very cumbersome in its size. So you're going to pretty much smack everything on the trail. And uh, one key thing to note is. I have a hold down right here that I'm going to install on the roof rack so that I can hold that down when I'm not using the radio. I imagine I'm going to be installing the radio antenna mount roughly about right here and it should do the trick and uh, route the cable into the cab. It's going to be the fun part but it shouldn't be too difficult. But uh. That's just an overview of what I got, and I'll probably break this into a couple of videos, one being the LED conversion and then the CB installation, which might be a two-parter, as I'm still waiting on some parts here. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll show you the, some uh, shots as I go here on installation, and then make sure to show you the end results. Got a little bit of snow here in Medford, so sit back. Well, enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Hey Jolie. Hey Jojo. How are you doing? So I'm having some fun making sure these guys are working. So here's the new LED lights going without the lens on, of course, as you can see. Here's the traditional bulbs. Don't mind the top one, it's just a aging bulb. It's not doing very well. I'm uh, thinking it's gonna work without one of those uh, updated LED flasher or turn signal units. Uh, not exactly sure, but we'll see. All right, quick update. In order to get this to work without the updated LED relays for the flasher and hazard lights on each side, you do have to have at least one traditional bulb. So on the front here, as you could see, I got the regular old bulbs not updated yet but on the back we're completely LED'd up it's working this way this is the way it's got to be until until I uh, get the relays and so there's gonna probably be a part two to this uh, some quick little fixes to make everything work so I even got the glow lights. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. Inside the display here replaced. 
I did get the LED bulbs for this little area here, like that light up light right now. But for some reason, I just could not get those to work right. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe they're just not going to work. So I ha still have conventional lights in there. Those are always going to be traditional as far as I know. But if you guys have any secrets on making those work, it's not a huge deal to me. So I'm not too fed up about it. But yeah, if you guys know how to get those to work, let me know. Um, otherwise, I got to order a couple more for this guy and then a one or two more for the backlighting on the AC uh, air controlled area here. Otherwise, I already had the dome light in here. That's LED converted. Um, so pending a couple of lights ordered here because I didn't realize I had the wrong ones. Got to get ones for the side lights got to get the relays for the flasher and turn signal and then the other ones for the lower running lights down here should be completely converted to LED but I'll make a part two to this once I get all those parts eventually and will be completely converted to LED uh, with the exception of just that one component I'm not too worried about unless there's a simple fix well uh, uh, let you know when I get to that other part.